It's time now for Sid 6 0. This is where I get 60, 60 seconds to blah, 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 blah. I forgot how much time I got. When the Toronto Maple Leafs acquired goaltender Matt Murray from Ottawa this past July, everyone knew what the deal was. This guy gets hurt. He gets hurt often. Leafs GM Cal Dubas knew it. The coaching staff knew it. Everybody knew it. However, the Leafs were confident in what they saw during medicals. We're comfortable with the risk, they said. Well, guess what? Four days into the season, believe it or not, the risk has arrived. He got hurt. This video was taken during Saturday's morning skate by David Alter of Sports Illustrated Media Group. Murray suffered a groin injury mere minutes into this skate, talked to the trainers for a couple of seconds and came off the ice. He'll not miss at least 10 games. Toronto placed him on long-term injured reserve. The good news is that the Leafs now have some roster flexibility. But this Murray situation isn't good, especially when you consider everyone, and I mean everyone, saw it coming. Alex Sarah from City News 680 and City News TO joining us. Al, there's no real shock in this, but four days into the season, is there some shock in this? I don't, I don't, I don't think so. It's not like anyone was wishing ill will on Matt Murray, no, but no. Um, you know, I think, I think anything Kyle Dubas did, Sid, in the offseason to address his goaltending was going to be a risk. I think if Jack Campbell came back on like a five-year deal, that's a huge risk. I think if, if Dubas signed one of these young, unproven goaltenders like Vili Husso or Georgiev, who went to Colorado, I think they were all risks. But I think bringing in Matt Murray, even with two years left, was probably the bi biggest risk of them all, and that's why they got Ilya Samsonov. But, you know, this is why the Leafs have a 1A, 1B situation. They were hoping things would be good with Murray. Like you said, he trained well in the offseason. There were no issues in preseason. He looked well. Yes, I understand it was preseason. But over the last couple of years, he has a track record of A, not playing really well, and B, being hurt all the time. So now he's gone for at least four weeks, these groin adductor in, in injuries. Who knows how long it's really going to take. Uh, but Ilya Samsonov, you know, might be – not most the not the most important player on the team right now, but I think the one we'll be focusing on the most because now if he goes down or if he starts playing well, there is some serious serious trouble in Leafland. Oh, no doubt about it. But but I did find Saturday, Alex, interesting in that you know when when a goalie's in a competition, it's it's sometimes easy to see them kind of rise to the occasion because you have to, and the pressure on being the number one person isn't there. Considering the injury in the morning, I was, I was very curious how Samsonov would come out and play against Ottawa on Saturday. And he looked pretty solid. I, I think it's a real positive. So far, the returns on this kid are pretty good. Yeah, he's played two games, and I think five of the six periods, he's been good. I think the first period uh, earlier in the week against Washington, he let in a couple of bad goals. He, I think he admitted he was kind of nervous playing his former team, so I guess you give him a mulligan. Um, but I think it, you know, it might have been one of the better value contracts that was signed in the offseason. He's not making a lot of money. I think there's a good goal to, goaltender in there somewhere. Um, it wasn't a great year for him last year, but I think the one thing we don't give the Leafs enough credit for is how good they were defensively last year because of how things ended which I totally understand but you know I think putting him in this environment now we're literally said four games in he's the guy he's the guy and he thought maybe all year he would either be battling for the number one spot or maybe he would lose the number one job to Matt Murray because he kind of got the feeling the Leafs if if everything went well they would prefer that Matt Murray was their guy right and I think Samsonov's not a not a dummy he knew that but you know four days into the season He's the guy. You know, Leafs don't have a lot of back-to-backs coming up over the next month, month and a half, so he's going to play most of the games. And they just need him to be good. They don't need him to be a top-five goaltender in the National Hockey League. We've seen a lot of teams go through a long playoff run with good goaltending. Look at the Avalanche last year. That's probably the best example. So right out of the gate, said he's the guy. And if he plays well over these next four or five weeks and Murray comes back, it's going to get pretty interesting in Toronto. By the way, I know I'm biased. Because we may be related. Actually, we are related. I don't know why I said maybe. We are related, Alex and I. Is there I. something I don't know no, no, that you no, haven't told no, me yet? No reason for me to say that. Okay. I, don't, I don't know why I said that. I'll call mom later. No, no, yeah. mom, we're good. Don't get mad. <laughs> but someone needs to give this kid a, a sports radio show or a pod because he's pretty damn good. Uh, no. But a city new city won't let him go either. Alex Sixero, jack of all <laughs> trades. Appreciate you, brother. All right, see you, sir. We are definitely brothers.